Hi everyone, so today I am with Ruth from the website Naturally Radiant Life. Alors cette vidéo elle va être en anglais, si vous n'êtes pas familier avec l'anglais n'hésitez pas à mettre les sous-titres. So I switch back to English and this is the first video of a series of interview with people that I believe are sharing uh, the same values as mine about entrepreneurship. So Ruth is going to introduce herself and we're going to have a conversation together. Well, thank you for having me first. Uh, so I am the content creator at naturallyradiantlife.com, which is a website that is dedicated to holistic well-being and soul development. So some of the services that I offer through this website include yoga, meditation, well-being programs, and massage. I have my YouTube channel uh, where I offer uh, different kinds of insight on how to take care of yourself in a way that is more holistic and also free yoga classes as well as meditation. Yeah, tell us more about what, what are your convictions about, about all of that, like your beliefs and why, why you love what you love and why you want to, to share your message with as many people as possible. So I really believe I am heavily influenced by one of the most popular quotes by a philosopher named Lao Tzu and he says that if you want to get rid of all that is negative and dark in society you have to do it with yourself first and for me I believe that this is the key to transforming our outer world if we want a major change to happen in the way that we run our societies we also need to make that change within ourselves and i feel like there's no way around it for someone who is now a little bit like lost in his life like someone who wants to create something and become as we say his own boss or her own boss and don't want to work for a, for a company uh, anymore what would you recommend to to this kind of person who, who doesn't know what to do concretely in the outside world but what, what, what can they do within in order to start like growing or if you have any recommendations or your input I think the biggest <laughs> I think the biggest obstacle to this when you're when you're confused and you don't know what to do really the obstacle there is your thinking mind uh, we get into this cycle where we cannot stop thinking we become really stressed and um, and I think that being in this situation if we get stuck in this situation it will only create more confusion and feeling even more lost than before. So I think that the first and most important thing to do is to calm your mind and to go within and to create a space of peace and quiet within and trust that the answers will eventually come. But This step is really, really important and it sounds counterintuitive to a lot of people because when they are in a situation where they feel that they need to do something, their mind wants to hurry and then try to do something about it. But actually, this is not the best thing to do. Uh, instead, it would be better to step back and just to sit quietly with yourself and practice going within. And in this way, you will be creating a space where you will actually have more room to think more clearly and most importantly, to let your intuition um, become clearer and give you the answers that you need. And what, what would be a tip, something very concrete that people could do in order to, to calm the mind and, and see, yeah, see their situation more clearly? Mm -hmm. What would you recommend, for, like something very concrete yeah. or an exercise maybe? Of course, the most accessible thing that we have, which we have with us at all times, 24-7 and anywhere, anywhere you are, anywhere you go, is to connect to your breath. So something that I do, and it doesn't matter if, it, if I'm alone in my room, uh, sitting on the floor or maybe taking public transportation, just close your eyes and just notice the quality of your breath. Just notice the in-breaths and the out-breaths and then try to do, at the beginning this might be a little short, at the beginning it's just a gentle noticing of your breath, but then eventually you can extend those periods to Uh, longer time so if, if you're on the bus for example and then it's a 30 minute journey it's perfect because you can turn this as your time for going within even if you have people around you 
and, and it would be that, right? You're on the bus, just close your eyes, whether you're standing or sitting, um, and just begin to connect to the movement of your breath. You can notice little things that we take for granted, such as just listening to your own heartbeat or just noticing how your chest rises when you take an in-breath and how it how your belly deflates when you exhale. So this is this is such a simple thing, such a simple thing, but it's actually really, really powerful to make that connection uh, to your breath and realize that despite everything that's going on around you, you have this anchor that is always available to you. This is very simple in a way to start because it's just about finding these uh, moments in your daily routine where there's nothing special in a way to do, like waiting for something, just walking to the metro, right? Or, yeah. or, or riding a bus. And at that moment, I think that's my opinion, right? instead of um, checking your phone or instead of thinking about the next thing or worrying or trying to anticipate or over anticipate as we often do in, in entrepreneurship uh, yeah it's really about trying to use those moments and, and use them uh, yeah. in a way that is uh, useful for yourself and, and practicing yeah. what you say. And, and at the same time that also becomes special even though for uh, the average person there's nothing special about breathing but I always tell my students breathe as if your life depended on it mm. which is really funny because your life does depend on it and, and it's funny that we don't notice that so so that is actually really quite special to the, the fact that you are breathing and then becoming aware of of that very simple thing mm. that allows you to have that to have life. Yeah, I, I also believe that when you start uh, using those moments that you sometimes feel you like useless moment, like transportation, or, and when you learn to use those moments in order to grow within, in order to be more connected with yourself, mm -hmm. in general, your entire day becomes more flowy in a way, like. Uh, because the what are supposed to be the moment that are like, like ordinary, average, ordinary, ordinary moments, they become yeah. like uh, enjoyable moments yeah. because that's those moments are the one when you connect to yourself and so I, I think this increased the quality in a way of your entire day and and you feel that uh, everything starts to have more, more meaning right yes. um, maybe you want to say a little bit more about that no about being more in the flow, more connected to yourself, more connected to your intuition, or I mean, if you have any thoughts about, yeah. about that. Well, yeah, I do. Oftentimes we think that, uh, for, for instance, connecting to our intuition or having um, an extraordinary life um, happen because of um, big things in our lives, maybe like winning the lottery or getting that promotion at work, which I'm, I'm assuming it must be pretty awesome as well to have those things. But actually, I think that your life becomes extraordinary not because of those big things, those big events that take place in your life, um, but mostly when you start recognizing that all the seemingly ordinary things of everyday life become extraordinary, such as noticing your breath when you are just walking to get uh, the metro or the bus or whatever. Once yeah. you do that, like you feel more yeah. connected to everything, right? Yeah. Like you start to have more, more more compassion for others, you want to help others. So as I say, in entrepreneurship, you focus in the outside where it should be to, to help others. This is what you should keep in mind. There's only one thing is how can I help others and create beautiful things. Mm -hmm. But I think that the, the very good way to uh, create a fertile soil for that is to practice mindfulness, as she said, like being more in the present moment, more connected to yourself, because when you're more connected to yourself, you're more connected to others, right? And so, yeah. so you want to help others, yes. am I right? Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, of course, and this, this is actually what I was saying at the beginning of what Lu, uh, Lao Tzu said about if you want to get rid of everything that is dark and negative in the world, then you start with yourself. Yeah. So when you start doing that, when you start connecting with yourself, when you start connecting to your breath, um, you also realize that there is an aliveness in everything and in everybody and this naturally encourages you to start creating things that are not just for you but also for the highest good of all. Well, thanks Ruth for, for your time, for sharing the knowledge we, with our community and all these tips, practical tips. Um, so, as we said at the beginning, Ruth has a YouTube channel, feel free to check it and subscribe because you could have free wellness videos like 
yoga, meditation, Ayurvedic tips, yes. things like that. Uh, on our channel every Friday, so feel free to subscribe. Right. Super good uh, YouTube channel. Um, so see you guys for another interview person, and good luck for all your projects, for all your ideas. Bye bye.